I, I get so nervous. I don't know if this is worth it. I came across these bad boys. It's gonna be fun? It, it, it's not gonna be a one night project. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. <laughs> what I'm you doing? I'm just finishing up my premiere. I have got to do premieres more often because I love getting to like hang out with y'all first thing in the morning, have our coffee, and like talk to you in the live chat. That is my favorite thing. So much fun. And Monkey and I went to Benjamin's this morning and we got the best bagel. It was a sausage, egg and cheese, but it was on a Asiago bagel, right? Yep. So good. We got coffee. We love going there. Like on the weekend, Benjamin is the best. So we've had our breakfast. Yes. And now it's time to get busy. Now we have a lot of things. Flip that thing around and tell them what we're going to do today. You got it. <laughs> Bucky, I, I get so nervous. You got it. You got you, it, baby. You think it's a good angle? It's a great angle. You look cute in your hat. You're looking good. What do I say, Bucky? I can't think of these things like this. We have a whole list of things we're going to do today. Tell them. We are going to go to Lowe's. Yep. Get some get some weed killer for this this yard we got. Hang on. I said Lowe's this morning, and then you said maybe Home Depot. Oh, yeah. Maybe Home Depot because we got a 15% off coupon in the mail. <laughs> so, they might have the same things that we need. Yeah. And then we're going to go look at... Well, I don't know that I want to say that. Why? How do, how do I, how does this look? It looks really good. You're a little dark, but hey, better dark than light, because you know. Yeah. There you go. You look good. Thank you. Anyways, what else after Home Depot or Lowe's? Uh, we might go to the Verizon store. Yes, we need a new phone. We might go to a swimming pool place. Not a swim pool place, a spa place. Like a hot tub. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go for a nice long walk. Get our steps in. And? And we're going to... Go on a golf cart ride. Go on a golf cart ride. Probably going to put some water in the golf cart batteries. Uh-huh. Um, and... Unpack some boxes. Unpack some boxes and get this house in order. Tell them about the dishwasher. Oh. So, I found... I think the only problem that we have is that little latch at the top. So I found a replacement part. We're gonna check at Home Depot too, but there's one on Amazon as well. So we'll see what our options are there before we go and just buy a full blown brand new dishwasher. Try and save a little money. Cause the part's only like $28. Yeah. So we're gonna try that first. Then if it doesn't work, we'll get a new dishwasher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're gonna see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> see what's up here. Ooh, I don't know if you can really see that, but uh, there is a little bit of dirt up here, and that is not ours. That belongs to the original owner. Oh my gosh, y'all! That is freaking underwear. Gross. Pollen. The pollen is everywhere. You're wiping her off. We're taking her out. We haven't gotten to take our golf cart for a spin and it feels like forever. I'm, I'm interested to see what the battery charge is still at because we had fully charged it. It hasn't moved in like at least a week and a half. It's yeah, it's been a while. Okay, I gotta record you because I'm so sweaty I cannot be on camera. Monkey and I took a super long walk 
It was so nice. Yeah. We went down to the marsh walk. It was beautiful. I should have brought a camera so I could have filmed down there. Oh, uh, it crossed my mind, but then. I didn't um, even think about it. I didn't take my phone or anything. Then we came back here, got Daisy Bay, took her for a walk. Yeah. We're sweaty, but it's beautiful outside. So now we're headed to Home, Home Depot. Depot. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know if this is worth it. I don't know that we're gonna even find a parking spot. There is literally not a single parking spot in this entire parking lot. I guess everybody's getting ready for spring, Bunky. This place is wild. I just want some weed killer. <laughs> We need it bad. Our whole backyard is weeds. So far, so good. The goods. We got one thing down. I think we're on the right path to finding the dishwasher. Thingamajig. Funky. Look what I found. Dishwasher. No. <gasps> Are we going to get one? Oh. And this one's white like what I want. Oh, these look way nicer than the ones I saw at Walmart. Huh. Okay, y'all, I have made a complete mess. I decided I wanted to like redecorate this little area today. I brought out all of my lemon stuff and I think it looks really cute. I made kind of a little coffee bar set up over here and then I want to like redecorate all of this and then also living room. I'm telling you, it is a mess in here. Bunky. He spread um, weed killer. A little Roundup. And then we also got, what we get at um, Home Depot? Well, we have here a Universal Series garage door opener. Which we really need this. Uh, yeah, so that we can, well we really do because. Golf cart. And when we go like walk and stuff, that way we don't have to get a garage door opener. We don't necessarily have to like. I mean, we could take a key with us and use the front door, but that's no fun. Right. The set oh. of bathroom towel rack accessories. But I might take that back because everyone told me Amazon's way cheaper. Yeah, I think we need to do a little Amazon research, but for what we were buying, it was actually the best price. It was. We need multiple um, toilet paper holders, towel racks, like all the things. It's so weird. This house did not come with any of that, which is so strange to us. So we've been looking for them, but they're so ridiculously expensive, like $30 for a toilet paper holder, which I do not understand. But um, I was talking about it on Instagram and my messages are like flooded with people saying, check on Amazon and it's way cheaper. So I think I'm gonna take back the set that we got and just buy everything on Amazon. Um, but anyway, that's what we did this afternoon. I have really got to clean this house tomorrow. That's gonna be like my priority. But we are headed down to the marsh walk right now. We're gonna go do like a little happy hour, take the golf cart down there. I'm so excited. We both took showers, obviously. Look a lot more fresh. presentable now. Um, and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna grill out a steak on the big green egg, make a salad. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be a really fun night. Good times, good yes. times. Okay, so we are back. We have our steak sitting out, bringing it to room temperature. And to season it, I just did a little bit of the blend and then some buttery steakhouse. These two together are our favorite combination to flavor and season a steak. How's it going? We're getting rolling, we're getting rolling. Bob. You got it bringing it to temperature? Well, we just got started, so. Okay. But she's gonna get cranking real quick. Okay, so dinner is ready. Our Caesar salad and our steak, this smells so good. If y'all have never tried the Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse and the blend together on a steak, I'm telling you, it is the jam. Okay, good morning. 
I just realized I'm in the same thing as last night, but we are headed to church right now. We need to go by the grocery store after church, get a few groceries. We're going to make some lunch. I know um, Bunky and I both want to go to Hamburger Joe's tonight for dinner, so that is the plan. We also have some house stuff. We need to do some laundry, get our bedroom cleaned. Bunky needs to build his desk so that I can have my desk back in our bedroom, finally. Today is the day. <laughs> I don't feel like building this desk is as fun as putting Legos together. So. <laughs> There's a lot of pieces to this desk. Yeah, when I took it out of the box, I was a little bit discouraged, but I you think got I, could, it. I could handle it. You got so. it. The monkey sent me to get the dill pickle chips uh-huh and then because y'all know i got me some ham and cheese i'm gonna have some dill pickle ham and cheese chips this week i came across these bad boys oh i didn't even see you get these i, sn I snuck them in oh i gotta try we gotta taste test i'm gonna go ahead and have one oh i've been seeing commercials for these and i thought they looked good have you look look at the so look at the shape here it's almost like a bugle. Oh, that's cool. Mmm. Well, that's yummy. That's it's yummy. so airy. Mm-hmm. It almost tastes like a bugle. Oh, bunky. Hey. <laughs> these are good. Okay, so we just left the grocery store. Church was great this morning. We're gonna go home, unpack these groceries, and then make us some yummy lunch. Okay, I did want to show y'all. I got this new cold brew it's not new but new to me my parents had this at their house when we were there a couple weeks ago and it was really really good so y'all tell me down below in the comments if you've tried this one if you haven't you should okay so we got all of the groceries put away and i'm about to get started on lunch lunch is only gonna take like 10 minutes but it's gonna be so good and so flavorful we're gonna have some broccoli and some shrimp we're gonna do it like asian style and i'm actually gonna be steaming it in my multi-function steam cooker from Bideen. and a big thank you to Bideen for sponsoring today's video this steamer is so cool and i'm so excited to tell you guys more about it so i have my broccoli prepped over here i also have my shrimp once this comes out we're going to actually toss the shrimp in a little bit of soy sauce and then we got this um chili garlic sauce which is going to be so good and i think i'll just throw a little antino nose on my broccoli and carrots it's going to be delicious so to get started, I'm going to go ahead and add some water to my steamer and I'm going to place my broccoli on the lower deck as I call it and the shrimp on the upper deck and the batting steamer produces steam very quickly in just about a minute. So you're going to have your food really fast while also keeping that nutrition and freshness of your food. This Vitim steamer is multifunctional. Besides just steaming, it's actually a stew pot. You can make yogurt. It's a sterilizer. It is a thawing machine and a baby food supplement all into one. So it's a very convenient for you to live a healthy life. I have my steamer set to 10 minutes to steam both my broccoli and my shrimp and they both came out perfect. Over on the side, there's actually a suggested cook time for different food options just in case you need a little cheat sheet. So the official name for my steamer is the Bideem Intelligent Electric Food Steamer. Don't worry, I will have it linked right down below in my description box. But this steamer actually came with this wonderful book full of recipes. I've already enjoyed flipping through there and there are so many recipes I cannot wait to try. It also came with these two stew pots which you can use to make soup. So I am super excited to try those out as well. With this steamer, you don't have to worry about leaking air or water. It's also very quiet and compact and easy to store. I love that with the smart control, it allows you to just walk away and not have to stand over a stove and worry about your food. You just set your timer and then the steamer does its job. So like I said, I will have my steamer linked down below in my description box. Be sure you head down there and click that link. Funky is obsessed with the steamer. <laughs> He cannot wait to try dumplings in there. Mm -hmm. All the Asian food, because y'all know he loves that. Yeah. But we're sitting here having a debate. We're eating lunch, but thinking about dinner already. Um, yeah, we're going to go to Joe's, but... We're planning on going to Joe's. But... But... There's a very important game tonight. <clears throat> if you didn't know, I'm a Duke fan. <laughs> 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 but, um... It might be Coach K's last game, Bunky. 
I hope he wins and he has another potential last game. However, I can't potentially miss the last Coach K game. Right. And at Joe's, they have a TV, but it's very small. It's yeah. not a place you go to like watch a basketball game. No, I mean, you, you can watch things, but it's not like, um, on right, display. Right, right. So, we're debating on going to Joe's later this week, going somewhere else tonight for dinner. Mm-hmm. Or do you want to cook dinner here? We got a lot of decisions to make in the next like 10 minutes. Okay, we'll keep y'all updated momentarily. Okay. okay, the decision has been made. We are headed down to the tuna shack instead of going to Joe's. Bunky just doesn't feel like Joe's is gonna be able, he's not gonna be able to like enjoy the game in full. So we're gonna go on there and have dinner, watch the basketball game, and then once we get back, I'm hoping my Bunky is still gonna put together his desk because I desperately need mine back. He's been using mine as his like work desk, but I want to have somewhere I can sit down and get ready in the mornings and do my makeup and work from. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping you're gonna give me my desk back at least this week at some point. So anyway, that is the plan now. I'll go ahead and tell you. With what, what, with what I already started piecing Messages. together up there. Uh huh. It's gonna be fine? It, it, it's not gonna be a one night project. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you're gonna breeze through it. <laughs> Well, it may come together easier than I think, but it, I hope. it's looking a little bit involved. Great. However, um, I'll give a I'll give another opinion on this after okay. I'm done putting it together. But it might be worth people's trouble and time to actually just buy a desk that is already assembled. Y'all, <laughs> I begged Bunky to buy a desk like at Home Goods or Target or Walmart anywhere because he just needs like a simple little desk, and he insisted that he get this desk from Home Depot, right? Or Office Depot, not Home yeah. Depot, Office Depot. And it's gonna be too big for that room and you have to put the whole thing together. So, once it's put jokes on you, buddy. It's not gonna be too big for the room. You know what else I'm afraid of? What? If I put it together in that one room, uh -huh. I hope that we could move it. Move it into the other room. Gosh, yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's go. How'd your boys do? They they pulled it out. They pulled it out. <laughs> My bunk is so happy right now. It was close, but they did it. Michigan State played a good game. Or was it just Michigan? Michigan State. Michigan State, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we ended up coming back to our house. We were not gonna make dinner here. We're gonna eat out tonight. But then Bunky and I both were like, let's just go back home, watch the second half. And then I told him, I have been like really in the mood for breakfast for dinner. Oh my gosh, that just sounds so good. I'm so excited. So we're gonna make some scrambled eggs, maybe some pancakes, some sausage, some hash browns. I am so excited. I love breakfast so much and I feel like it's been forever since I just made like a good yummy breakfast at home. So I'm super pumped. Uh -huh. 